guys, welcome back to another video. I am so stupidly excited to show off this uh, fun little drawing exercise I did this week. I took one of my favorite bath bombs from Lush, which I'm sure you've heard of, but if you haven't, it's a very popular, super animal friendly uh, cosmetics company. They do lots of fun bath stuff and skincare. Um, but I took one of my favorite bath bombs from them and I designed an RPG slash magical girl-esque inspired character from it. Uh, <laughs> I, I love taking baths. I really do enjoy uh, taking baths, especially this time of year where the weather gets super cold where I live. Um, so I like myself a lush bath bomb every now and then. Uh, and I mean, if you've been around on this channel for any amount of time, you probably know by now that I love character design. So when I was staring at the display on Lush's wall of all their bath bombs and stuff with all the different colors and textures, I just knew I had to make at least one video where I turn one of them into some sort of character design. So here we are. <laughs> Uh, so the bath bomb I picked is called Sakura, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, it's a mostly white color. Um, it has these flecks of like blue, kind of minty green, I believe salt. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they're like pieces of salt and a tiny um, little sprinkling of this like pink little speckles. Uh, and the whole time I was drawing, I could smell it. It was so nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so traditionally, I was thinking of doing something sort of more uh, Asian-inspired, um, Japanese, maybe like something cool with fans. Um, but I thought that might be a little too obvious, considering the bath bomb's name is Sakura and Cherry Blossoms and all that stuff. But because of its name, it also would have like really fit. It would have made a lot of sense. Um, so I struggled a bit with my concept before settling on, um, not going in that direction. So I settled on sort of a Valkyrie style axe wielder, um, but instead of being coated in like furs and I found a lot of Valkyries had like a lot of feathers to their outfits when I was kind of like Googling up references. Um, I wanted to give her more of a botanical element into her design. So she has these like flowers kind of in her shoulder plates and her thigh plates there. Um, now, fair warning, I do not clean this sketch up very much. This was a purely fun exercise to indulge myself, so it's more of a flat color piece than anything, but I still think it came out really cute and it was really fun, so. <laughs> uh, and I, I kept her hair blonde um, for pretty much most of the image's coloring phase. I uh, colored it on Procreate, but um, I ended up switching it to pink near the end. I just, I found the blonde, A, like with her armor and everything, was giving me kind of like massive, uh, wow, <clears throat> nice voice crack, sorry. <laughs> uh, she was giving me massive dark magician girl vibes with like the blonde hair and the blue and the pink. And I couldn't really shake that, and there is no yellow color in the bath bomb, and I did want to stick with a color palette that reflected it as much as possible. Uh, so I did end up changing it. I do think it looks cute with the blonde, but I did change it, and I added some fun little glowy magic bits uh, near the end because I think they're cool. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's that's probably all for me. Uh, I. I honestly had so much fun doing this absolutely ridiculous mashup of self-indulgence, but I really, I hope you like it. And if you do, please let me know and maybe I will do another one in the future. Who knows? Okay, that's it for me. Enjoy the music. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.